A box turtle similar to these, they generally live for 25 to 35 years, but they have been known to survive to over 100 years old. Wow, that's almost as old as the Miller Park Zoo, who is celebrating a big birthday this summer. Here in today's Critters and Cage is Eric Hananen. Glad to have you here, Eric. Thanks for having Looks us. Looks like you've brought two friends here with I us. I did bring two friends. This is Cora. She's a three-toed box turtle. Uh, they're native to the area. And then I brought this one, who is an eastern box turtle who was hatched at the zoo. And I was going to ask you guys if you thought uh, you could guess how old this one is. We were just yeah. saying yeah. the break that that must be a baby, but I'm yeah. going to guess now that you've said that, that is uh, That's true probably question. not accurate. I would say that one's older then. This one will be about the same size as Cora when it's full grown. Oh, oh so, so this so Cora is full grown? This Cora is full grown, yep. Do you know how old Cora is? We do not. She, a okay. lot of our uh, box turtles are rehab animals, so animals that were injured in the wild that we have brought into captivity because they can't care for themselves in the wild any okay, longer. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna guess for the bait, the little one. Yes. Um, seven. Oh, okay, I'm gonna guess three. Uh, you guys both did really well. This one's gonna be four years old this, later this summer. <laughs> we're right in the middle. Yeah, you guys did great. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. So they're very tiny when they're born. They're not much bigger than my thumb. And oh. they're gonna grow very quickly over the next few years. Then and you said three toes, though. I don't. I see like a lot of little claws and forearms. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big mess. If you look <laughs> on this back foot, there are three toes. Oh, okay. Get, and then on the eastern box turtle, oh, who's gonna pull his feet in? Uh, there are <laughs> Be shy. there are four. Yes. He's like, you're getting my best side there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so interesting the texture of their skin to be able to kind of like go into their shell. It just looks. So interesting. Yeah, this skin here is real loose and it's um, just kind of almost just like a connection to keep all of the... Yeah, it's like um, elastic. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then uh, these uh, are not afraid of us. They're used to people. <laughs> and so they don't like to suck into their shells, which is their uh, defense mechanism to stay safe. But when they do, they can kind of pull their arms in, they'll pull their head in, and this rougher skin out here yeah. can help protect them from a predator or something wow. like that. Ooh, okay, they are reptiles. They are reptiles, yes. Okay, and you mentioned this one little one was born at the zoo, as are yes. most of your mobile animals, right? Or uh, We have some that are born at the zoo, we have some that uh, are rehab animals like Cora, a couple others like that, and some are like the rabbits and things that we brought are former pets that we have rescued. Okay. And very interesting. Yeah. We're about out of time, but we've got a lot yeah. of fun events yeah. to talk about. Yeah, definitely. Y'all are celebrating a birthday. We do, 132nd birthday wow. on Saturday. So there's cake, there's events. And then the big event is June 24th. Brews at the zoo. Yes, so, so you guys fun. have a ton of great breweries down here in Champaign and in Decatur. Um, so come up to Bloomington and see what we have to offer. There's going to be a whole bunch of different breweries, and there'll be uh, samples you can try and it's gonna be a great event. You've also got a fun Zoo to You program. Is that still open or is that just getting started or how does that work? Yeah, if you want the zoo to come out to your uh, event or class or anything like that, just call the zoo or go on their website. There'll be information and uh, there is a fee, but we'll come out and um, show off animals like yeah. Cora and teach whoever you're with about animals. Well, that's cool. What are your summer hours looking like? We are 8.30 to 5, excuse me, 9.30 to 5 every day of the year except Christmas and Thanksgiving. Okay. So no matter how hot or, how hot or cold, come on out and see the animals. They're there. They would love to see you, I'm <laughs> sure. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming and introducing us to Cora. I didn't catch the little one's name. This one is Rover. Oh, okay. okay. So Cora cute. and Rover from Miller <laughs> Park Zoo joining us today for Critters Uncaged. And if you want details on all the fun there at Miller Park Zoo happening this summer, we'll connect you at CILiving.tv.